Welcome to Electra Online. Again, we're trying to rationalize these denominators to get rid of those square roots in the denominator. That's essentially what rationalize the denominator means. And we're doing that by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So that means that we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this, but instead of a negative, we write a positive. So the square root of x plus the square root of y. And of course, we need to do exactly the same with the denominator as we do with the numerator. So there you go. That's what we're going to do. Again, recognize that we're simply multiplying the fraction by 1. Same over here. We're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 2 times the square root of x minus 1, and 2 times the square root of x minus 1. All right, let's see what that gives us. On the right side, Notice when we multiply the denominators, we simply write the square of the first minus the square of the second. So the denominator becomes x minus y. It's the first term squared minus the second term squared. In the numerator, we end up with the square root of x times the square root of x plus the square root of y. And, well, we should now go ahead and multiply the numerator and see what we get. So this times this. Remember, we're going to multiply each term with the square root of x. So this times this simply gives us x, plus this times this gives us the square root of x times y, divided by the denominator, which is x minus y. And that's probably the best form to leave it in. Here, the same thing will happen. Notice when we multiply the denominators, we take the first term squared, which is equal to 4 times x, minus the last term squared, which is minus 1. In the numerator, notice we're going to multiply 2 times the square root of x minus 1 times 2 times the square root of x minus 1. So there, what we're going to do is we take the first term squared, which is 4 times x, plus twice the product of the two, since it's a negative, that would be minus 2 times that, which is 4 times the square root of x, and then plus the last term squared, which would be plus 1. So that gives us the numerator, and there is a denominator, and that's as simple as we can write it. And that is how it's done.